and fear. Good. Excellent. That's what we like to hear. So, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Have you noticed any difference uh, since last time and uh, since you started your medication? You have. That's good. Um, has you been a good change? Have you been feeling better? Perhaps more energy? Or uh, just a general lightening of your mood? General lightening? Well, that's better than where we were a few weeks ago, that's for sure. So, you came in today. sales department, clothing store. That's perfect. Do you like the job? You do? A little boring sometimes. That's normal. Trust me, this isn't exactly the most exciting job in the world, but uh, I do enjoy it most of the time. Um, do you like your co-workers? Uh, no one too annoying. And do you have a good boss? Overall, that's good. something you have to be mindful of is that uh, they can have fluctuating emotions just as much as you can so give a little leeway with them every once in a while and I think you'll be fine um, now last we talked uh, you were in a relationship um, is that still ongoing it is glad to hear it um, is it good relationships that aren't going well, but you sound like it's going good. Um, how long has the relationship been now? About six months? Really? That's quite a long time. Uh, do you two have any uh, future plans for each other, or just feeling each other out a little still? Understandable. Six months is longer than most relationships, but I still don't think you're in that truly serious territory yet. But far be it from me to poke into your personal life too, too much. Now, does your uh, significant other uh, know about your medication regime and these visits? She does. Excellent. And she, is she okay with it? Does she have reservations? She thinks that the therapy is a bit of a scam, doesn't she? Now, uh, trust me, I get that from significant others all the time. You'd be surprised that it's always the ones that aren't going through the therapy that always think it's the biggest scam. And it's understandable. A bunch of money to come sit down and talk to someone, they may feel a bit... I don't want to say jealous, but maybe that is the word I'm looking for. Um, they feel like they can't. Why aren't they the ones that are getting talked to? Um, and that's an understandable emotion. I mean, you've been going out for six months. Uh, it sounds like you two uh, are really good with each other. And I can understand why your significant other would uh, feel a bit uh, left out at these types of meetings. But just calmly let her know. It is helping, and uh, I think she'll understand and be okay with it. And she's also fine with the medication use as well. She is. Good. It's not that much medication, but still, some people don't like uh, using medications um, at all. They prefer more, a more uh, natural route, which can be effective in some cases, but in your case it seems like the medication has been working just fine. Um, speaking of the medication, I have just the file on it right here. Now, I gave you 
15 milligrams of Paxil, correct? Right. And you've been taking the full 15, not cutting it in half or anything like that. Full 15 every night. Okay, perfect. Now, what I'm going to do next is just to take a few notes, just like I did the first meeting we had. And then every meeting since then, you know me. Eventually, what we want to do is make it so you don't need the Paxil at all. Um, Paxil is great for sort of jump-starting uh, dopamine production in the brain, but it is not an end-all, be-all to anxiety or depression. Um, that inevitably comes down to you. Now, by doing this once every other night, it's a good way to wean you off of it, because uh, just stopping cold turkey. small the issues are, you have very mild anxiety, I'd say, in my opinion, but when you say the word anxiety around a parent, they understandably think the worst, but you've told them and they're okay with it, father and mother. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, so you've got your medication plan. suicidal thoughts been creeping into your head? No, not lately. Perfect. Um, I, under, I knew that you told me that it was a problem um, a few weeks back, and that's why I did prescribe you the Paxil. Um, and hopefully that's helped alleviate it. Um, I, I'd like to imagine you'd tell me if it, it increased the amount of those thoughts you were having, but it has they have gone down or disappeared at all, I'm hoping disappeared entirely. Excellent. That is very good. Um, and that's less a Paxil than it is you. Uh, that's just you coming to grips with the fact that you really don't want to die. You don't. You understand that you have so many things to live for, like your significant other and your parents and your new job. Um, what I really think it is is you've found your place in the world. And it's a very comfortable, peaceful place. And even if life throws other difficult situations at you, which, uh, to be quite frank, it will, uh, I think you're now better prepared to handle them than you were before, where before it would seem like it would be piling on to a myriad of other problems. Now it's a singular problem that you have the full support that you need to handle. Especially not in this 
modern world, but we can be close. Um, have you been doing any other exercises or natural remedies to alleviate your anxiety and stress? You started working out. Excellent. That's very good. Um, exercise is one of the best things. absolutely flooded with them. Um, so that is excellent. Um, I also understand that you've been doing some yoga. Again, very good. Yoga is uh, especially good because it works both the body and the mind. Yoga is a very meditative uh, workout, which is very good um, because one of the best ways to fix any problems or issues you may be having is to face them head on. Yoga definitely uh, wants you to do that. Um, so basically what I'm hearing here is that you've been doing an excellent job. Um, your relationships seem to be going fine and everything seems to be working out for you right now. And I hope that it stays that way for a very long time. Um, if you want to continue these meetings, absolutely we can check in every few weeks. But these, you know, every week or two week meetings we can safely say um, can be put well behind us um, a few months from now you probably won't be able to see me at all uh, now I am going to write you a prescription for 10 milligrams of Paxil and I think based on what I've heard uh, you can take them every other night now don't cheat it one night, that's fine, that won't make a diff big difference, but if you miss a few nights in a row, you may see a marked change in your attitude, but eventually I hope to get us down to 5 milligrams every other night, and from there, uh, possibly off it entirely, so in a few months, you should be medication free, um, keep exercising, keep doing yoga, um, and strive to handle any issues that come up in a peaceful and calm way, don't let things get to you too much, like they did Call me at 3 in the morning if you need to. I'll pick up the phone. Trust me, I'm a light sleeper. This job requires it. Alright. Have a very good rest of your day. Tell your parents and uh, your significant other that I said hello.